So we'll get to the terminal, but first I want to ask you about Sarah Fryer leaving the company. We all know that she was really important to the company. How big a loss is this? Sarah is a tremendous executive and also a really good friend. Um, and we're really happy for her. She's doing something she's always wanted to do. We know she's going to be great in the role and we'll be following her. Um, we have a lot of powerhouses around the table on the executive team. And although there is a role to fill, we feel really confident in who we have around the table. We've talked about the strong bench at Square on the show many times, including people like you that said when this news was announced, we saw a sell off that has recovered, but investors are asking who is going to fill her shoes. Of course, we're going to start a search for a CFO. Uh, and we expect there'll be a lot of interest in it. David Veneer, who is our lead independent director and former CFO of Goldman Sachs, is going to be leading that search, and we have a lot of confidence that we'll be able to fill it. So what impact do you think this will have on the company and on the executive team as it is? We feel really great about our purpose and our momentum and the people we have around the table, so I don't think we're going to miss a beat. You're announcing Square Terminal. That's right. New Square Terminal. What's game-changing about this, and how is it different from the previous hardware register? Yeah, it's a, it's a great new terminal that combines our great payments business, but also hardware that is fresh and new and has all the technology that people need. There are millions of terminals out in the world in use today, uh, here in the U.S. and worldwide, and they are built on top of payment systems that don't treat them fairly, and they're made of hardware that are generally lackluster and not very forward-looking. This is going to fix all of that. You are the hardware lead. You've worked at Square for seven years. You've worked at Apple for eight years before that. What did you bring of your Apple sensibilities to Square? I learned a lot at Apple. I learned from some of the best. Uh, you learn to understand what excellence really means and really try to get there. Uh, you learn to value and scrutinize execution because if you can't execute, none of it really matters. Uh, and finally, I learned that you have to identify the pieces of technology that will really affect the customer experience and the kinds of things that you want to control end to end. For Apple, that's many, many things. For Square, that's our payments infrastructure, the way we move money, the embedded software that runs our payment system, and the operating system that runs products like Square Terminal and Square Register. So that said, like smartphones, there's a lot of competition. And as you mentioned, you know, there are so many different kinds of registers. They are very different. But how does this stand out for, from what's already on the market? We really benefit from integration. So the payment service is provided by the same people that make the point of sale app, is made by the same people that make the connections to MasterCard, Visa, Amex, Discover. We also have a great relationship with Apple and Google to accept Apple Pay and Google Pay as soon as they came out. So we can make something that's really integrated end to end and provides a customer experience that's seamless, not stitching together a variety of suppliers. But it's because of that integration that it might be harder for merchants to switch over, right? So what's the plan to convince merchants, you know, one at a time that all in on Square is better. For businesses that have uh, a simple business can run their entire business for something like a terminal, this is a superior way to do it and we think we're going to get their attention very quickly. How do you think this is going to expand the type of customers that use Square? It will address a very broad base, but one segment that has really been out of reach for us are businesses, big businesses, that have a very specific point of sale, like a dentist or an optometrist. Square is not going to make a point of sale for them. Uh, and all of those businesses are really entrenched in that system, but need to have a way to accept payments right next to it. There are terminals all over the world that are bolted right next to a very sophisticated, specialized point of sale system, and now we can unlock those. Is there a goal to reach a different kind of customer, a larger customer, at a broader scale than what you currently have? It's been a consistent theme that we're going after larger and larger customers. This product has a really, really broad reach from casual small sellers uh, like in a bodega that are doing small ticket sizes and, and a little bit of business every day and a few items that they remember the price in their head. But much bigger businesses uh, have point of sale systems and must have terminals right there at the side and we're a better fit for that than so ever. What are the biggest challenges building this hardware? Well, we try to make it a really great experience. So integrating hardware and software in a small package, this has a five and a half inch color display, accepts NFC, has a built-in battery, uh, works on Wi-Fi, has a built-in thermal printer. So you're really looking at something that doesn't want to be small and sleek and easy to pick up. It's really easy to scoop it up and walk around the store. Uh, so it's a lot of um, great consumer electronics design and making sure we can appeal to people's consumer aesthetic, not the calculator from 1985 that they're forced to use. And what else is in the pipeline? We're always looking at new ways to serve our sellers. We really love working with them. A lot of the ideas that came from uh, into this product came from observing them and talking to them over time. And there'll always be something new. We're always working on it. But for right now, this fills a really important role in our ecosystem. Speaking of the Square executive team, you know, there are always questions about 
Jack Dorsey's role. You know, we've seen him testify on behalf of Twitter before U.S. Congress. Um, we've got the elections coming up, which is also a big time for Twitter, obviously. That's right. How present is he? Uh, he's great. He's always there. Uh, I met with him today. Um, he, he's put together a really strong bench of people. Uh, I love working with them all. Uh, he also is asked to be judged by his results. And in Q2, we put up our fifth quarter in a row of revenue expansion. Uh, and I really feel good about our momentum, especially with new product launches. So what will be the year to come for Square? We've, you're right. We've seen the stock rise. How do you deliver? Uh, the ecosystem is where we're really going to succeed. We can put together cohesive experiences for all kinds of businesses, something that they can't get from the people they're serving, uh, serving them today. And we really feel good about our product pipeline.